Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 16th going to the 22nd of January. So let's have a little look together and see what's going on. I'm getting ill again. Yeah, you can probably hear it. If not, then that's great. Anyway, we're going to go into your reading and see what's going on for you. Okay, let's see for Pisces. immediately I'm hearing like you're gonna find your way like if you're feeling lost right now um there's no quick fix to the situation that you're in by the way so if you're looking for that it never really is the case um I think it actually goes to deeper things so if you believe that there are some problems and some external things then it might have something to do with some deeper ways of looking at life or how you think about yourself how you feel about yourself and how you feel towards certain things. Um, I kind of feel like you're going through a little bit of um, a shift internally, which is nice. And I do see that means that things around you will start picking up, which is nice. But I do kind of feel like spirit is just trying to remind you, you're going to find a way. You're going to find your way, most uh, particularly. Some of you may feel very different from the people that you're around or like you're supposed to be, you know, you're here for a different reason or, you know, your career could be just very different or your relationship's just very different. I'm just getting an energy here of like, you're not alone. Um, you are going to find really amazing people who will be supportive of you uh, if you don't have that already or people will be very supportive of you if you do have people who are like that already. Um, but I just kind of feel like you're finding your way. Like that's really the main thing. I might try and title it if I remember. Um, all right, but let me carry on, pull the cards out and see what else is coming up for you guys. I'm trying to not strain my voice too much. It's every time. Okay. I don't think I'm ready for that. Sorry, Spirit. I wasn't paying attention. Right. For Pisces. All right. Current energy for the week ahead, please, for Pisces. All right, you have the five of wands, and I will show you, don't worry. For those who are new, I like to look at them, and then I will show you. Um, okay, clarify this. Mm. Okay, what well, the blockages? Oof. I don't know why I just get this lost energy around you, but don't worry. On the bottom of the deck here, we do have the Four of Swords, which is very well known for healing. Maybe you need a break. Maybe you need to take some time out. Whether that's time alone or whether that's just time to think, time to heal. For some of you, if you have been dealing with health issues and that looks like it's going to be fixed, so this is a good sign, but it does mean that you might need to take a break from something. Could be a relationship, could be your job, could be anything. Whatever your problem is, is, is asking you to take a break from that. Sometimes when we come back to something and see it with new eyes, fresh eyes, it becomes easier. We start to see solutions that we didn't think about before when our head was, you know, a little bit everywhere. And I do see that there's a little bit of conflict or competition or just a lot going on around you. And I think this is something that you're really wanting to sort out. Again, as I said in the beginning, it's like there's no quick fix to this. You can't exactly run away from it, but what you can do is is take a break from it. Um, and this is really calling for you to, to do that. And you might even find that you're kind of being given a break. Like someone might just say, look, go on a holiday or like they could gift you something um, here that's going to allow you to be able to relax, chill, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, let's talk about it. One of the things that I do see, though, which is a blockage, and I'm going to just jump straight into that first of all is I think you're kind of worried about making major decisions right now. Your head is in the future. You you want happiness. That's really what it comes down. You want peace, tranquility. You want those goals of yours. The Ten of Cups is kind of coming in as almost like a goal, which is amazing. You know, the rainbow here is just suggesting happiness after, you know, difficulty, having that sunshine after the rain, having things being calming down. I think that's what it is. You just want things to calm down. But part of your blockage is also the Seven of Swords. And of course, this can mean a few things. This can mean that you have dealt with betrayal, lies, deceit, and this is something you're still, you know, trying to move past. Uh, for others of you, this is uh, not betraying yourself, your own decisions. I actually feel like 
I mean, it could be any of these, but the initial thought that I had when this came out was like, you're scared of betraying your dreams. You're scared of making the wrong decisions, you know, that might end up as a consequence being that this Ten of Cups is no longer yours. Like you're scared of ruining something or you're scared of ruining a dream or not achieving something based off of your actions. So maybe some of you are scared to leave something behind or to follow your gut instincts with something. I'm going to carry on clarifying this stuff. Um, your current energy, and it's something that is kind of coming up in your oracle cards, is the orphaned energy, and this kind of comes through when we've just had a tower moment, whether that's separation, a breakup, or again, just feeling quite lost and alone in the world, or again, feeling very defeated. This can sometimes bring about like a little bit of like depression or things like this. It, again, you're not alone, and again, make sure you reach out to the right people here who can help you. Um, but the orphaned energy is like something needs to change. And, and I always say in, in my experience, whenever these like deep numbing feelings come through of just pure unhappiness, it means that something around you, the life that you're living needs some adjusting so that we can feel happy in it. And it does feel like something in your life is making you feel a little bit low. It could just be low vibes, low energy, five of wands. Maybe there's just a lot on your plate right now that's making you feel this way. It could again just be like constant back and forth, it's never ending, this could be a workload, this could be conflict around you, this could be arguments in a relationship or in a dynamic or with people. Um, the five of wands is very back and forth and it's never ending, you know. So what's being called for you to do is kind of to rise above it in a sense of doing something different. Uh, this five of wands can represent internal conflict too, but it, again, I'm kind of seeing it in your reading as a one on the other you know this five of wands is a repeated cycle so if it's oh when i do this i'll be happy when i do that i'll be fine but it's almost like things just keep jumping on and there's other things to fix other things to deal with other thoughts coming in you know um and it is never ending but the only way to break a cycle is to break the cycle and to do something different and this knight of wands kind of comes through as like a saving grace is what i want to feel like this could actually be an opportunity for some of you kind of coming out of nowhere um, kind of like helping you come out of this, especially if you're in conflict with people or find yourself in a competitive and uh, like industry or situation, or if it's in, even in your own thoughts. I'm kind of seeing this night once coming through, and it's like, look, take this uh, opportunity. Could even just be like a boost of motivation. The ones that are very well known for this, like very well known for passion, creativity. It's motivation. It's fiery energy. So it's energy being given to you um from either yourself or from something outside of yourself um and this kind of will give you some stability again it this kind of does feel like a bit of like a quick fix it could even be that opportunity of a holiday or just something to break a cycle here to break out of these thoughts someone's giving you some help here or again it could be yourself like you're finding that solution that is a temporary fix to a solution that will have its own solution, to a problem that will have its own solution. Um, but what this is doing is it seems to be giving you an opportunity to spend some time in your own energy, or again, in much more of a stable position. Could be dealing with an earth sign or a cancer sign that's coming through, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But this queen of pentacles came out with the moon. So this could very well be you, Pisces being up in your head about something, really kind of being in your deep emotions about how you feel. But the good thing is, is this Queen of Pentacles is like a very stable energy. I'm hearing like a bit of like a rock for you. And this could just be yourself. But I, I kind of feel like this opportunity that arises is giving you that stability to actually understand where this is coming from because when you're in the mix of this you're very distracted there's a lot going on you don't really have the chance to actually understand why you're feeling this way so a fated event is going to be happening again an opportunity to relax an opportunity to break away from something that's very conflicting so that you can actually address some internal stuff and that's when we have the To The Sea card in Oracle deck, which is feeling lost, yeah. So again, I don't see any quick fixes this week in a sense. I see you getting, well, yeah, I guess a little bit of a break is, is not bad to have, but it's not going to fix your problems. But it definitely will give you some insights. And I, this To The Sea card is spending that time in your own energy, really kind of understanding that maybe the deep down thing is 
that you might lack a sense of direction. Or maybe you haven't really been addressing certain emotions like these. Maybe it is an emotional thing. Because as you can see, these cards are very similar. Both are kind of looking down, both are by themselves. But one has this very rock hard energy and the other one's a bit more water, which is emotions. All right. What's this moon energy? Page of Swords, that's deep stuff. This is Scorpio um, energy coming through with this card. I always read it like that. This is really digging deep. Understanding the truth of a situation. Understanding the triggers. Because some of you may feel like you're more triggered than usual. Or this could be someone around you. You could be arguing a lot with somebody here because of their triggers. All right. What's this seven of swords, please? The fool. Yeah, it's like the blockage here is like there's a fear of taking a leap of faith just in case it ruins everything. You're scared of doing something that you might feel called to do because it runs a risk. Six of cups here as well. Something like maybe returning to something that used to make you happy or an old way of being that used to make you very happy. A dream of yours is being blocked because either you're scared of making decisions or because you're scared of taking that route. You have two of cups, ace of wands, ten of pentacles. Your love life seems to be growing. All right. So if you're with someone, that's great. If you're not, then it looks like you'll be meeting someone very soon. Very, very soon. I wanted to clarify that. Ten of Cups. Well, look at that. Your goal is the ultimate one. We have the Ace of Pentacles, which is an opportunity coming through. This is like, um, especially really good in terms of finances, by the way. So it could be a, some money coming in, a stream of income coming through, very stable career, very stable job, a home even as well. What's the Five of Wands? Seven of Pentacles, yeah, look, it's hard work. Something's very hard work and very like not very rewarding here. So I think this is where you're getting a choice. Because you also have the lovers. For some of you, this could be a relationship, Pisces. That's requiring a lot of work. There's a lot of conflict or a lot of, you know, triggering energy. Seven of Pentacles is like you might have spent a lot of time in this or put a lot of energy and sacrifice into this. What's the Knight of Wands? The Sun. Well, yeah, some of you, it could definitely be a holiday. <laughs> but others of you, this Knight of Wands that's kind of being given to you is happiness, is a source of happiness for you. That's going to, again, put you in that stable position where you're finally going to feel like, okay, like what is really going on? And you'll have the time and energy to actually look at it. Okay, an opportunity is coming through. Very good news is coming through for you. All right, overall advice, please. Did I show you the lovers? Yeah, I did. You have six of wands, so you're gonna you're gonna beat this. You're gonna really feel really good by the end of the week, okay? But it does require again something. What well, clarify this card for me, this one? Interesting. So you have the Six of Wands, which is winning the battle here after the difficulty. And actually, this is really good because what comes after the five is the six. So you're you're kind of taking that Knight of Wands energy, which is really lovely. You're getting up on that horse and you're making a change. You're making a difference. You're going to do things. Knight of Wands energy is really good. It's Sagittarius energy. So it is about optimism, which is why the sun is there. Now it makes sense. But it's also like, it's activities, Sagittarius and fiery energy is good for like exercising or action taking or being creative and um, learning new things is also really good for that ninth house energy as well. You then have though, the 10 of swords. So for some of you, like if this leveling up requires some letting go, then I think this is what you're going to do. The 10 of swords was actually clarified by the, the ace of cups and the higher fence. So this could be a relationship. 
But there could be a turnaround in a relationship too, because Ten of Swords, yes, is an ending, but it almost feels like there is an ending to an old way of being, which is why this Ace of Cups is coming in as a new beginning, and the Hierophant is again obedience. So this could even just be new self-love coming through because of an ending. You're deciding, I, I don't want to be this way anymore. I have to break the cycle. You know? Because of the difficulty that you've been through has been keeping you low, making you feel stuck. There's a good energy coming through of like, you're not going to allow these things to tackle you down. So it looks all good. I'm going to pull you an animal spirit card two and see. Okay, you got two. You have the owl spirit, so you see clearly now. I think this break that's coming in for you, or this this opportunity, whatever this might be, is really coming through, and it's it's really going to give you that motivation to see things more clearly. Oh, you actually have free. <laughs> be sweet results away. So again, things that are going to be okay. You're going to find your way, Pisces. And you believe in yourself with the squirrel spirit. Okay. Well, I love you. I wish you all the best. Personal readings are linked down below if you're interested. There's completely new services out. I've changed all the website. Everything's changed. Everything's different. So feel free to check that out if you wish. But if not completely okay, I'm happy that you spent the time here with me today. And I appreciate you. Um, and I hope to see you guys next time.